Retrievers. Hamster back on his two wheels. It is a glorious June evening. And I thought I'd take the long route home to work. Or to work? From work. And I had a bit of a think earlier. About what kind of vlog I could do on my way home. So it was like, yeah, I'll do another one. I'm queuing up a few, so I thought I can do another one. And you may have heard me talking about, and if not, go watch the video, buying a track bike, which is now nestled in my garage, waiting to be deployed. And it is a serious weapon. It's going to be awesome. But I've done track days for the last three years. I done my first track day about six months after passing my test. Best thing I could have done, because it teaches you the limits of the bike and it allays all these fears that you've got about tyres giving up and all this type of thing, to a degree anyway. But it's a, it's a definite worthwhile experience, especially I think for newbies, new riders. I mean, give yourself a, a couple of weeks to get used to the bike, but well, I'd recommend doing a track day. And one of my friends was, he'd done his first track day with us back last year, and he was very apprehensive about doing it. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about track days, and why anyone who wants to do a track day or is thinking about it shouldn't be apprehensive. And it's an awesome idea. Not only will you have a shit load of fun, you will also have You'll also learn a crap load about your bike, its handling, how it works, speed, everything. I think one of the things that my friend last year was really apprehensive about was his speed and his abilities. Now there are generally three classes there are three classes at a track day novice 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 intermediate and fast now I've done eight plus track days I suspect in my three years and I'm in the intermediate but when I first started I went into novice I don't know, two, two, twice I think it was, possibly three times. But, even though I'd only been riding six months, I was by no means the slowest there. And I've seen people on 300s and little 400s, uh, two-stroke jobs and things like this. I mean, you, you don't need a 600 or a sports bike or a litre or anything like that to do a track day. Ultimately, it's there for people to have fun. And if you want to dilly-daddly around a track until you feel comfortable at going more speed, that's what you do. And nobody is there to press you into doing anything else that you, you don't want to do. So for those who think, oh, I've got to go quickly and I've got to do this and I've got to do that and I'm going to hold people up, you will not. I guarantee you, you will not. There's always somebody behind you, and if you think you're holding people up, generally what happens actually is you'll, you'll go down a track and you'll latch onto the back of somebody. What happens is you become very in tune, and that's quite true with the TT as well, is you get, this is why the fast people go out first, is because if they catch the other fast person, what happens is they'll generally stay with them because they'll mimic their movements rather than doing their own race. And you'll find that you'll end up latching onto somebody and following them and not really going much quicker than them in the front. You're not going to want to do any of that. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, but again, it isn't a track day isn't there for you to bust out, you know, record-breaking lap times. It's there for you to have fun and to use your bike to its abilities. I've seen uh, don't get me wrong, you, you get loads of sports bikes there. You generally do. But I've seen cruisers, I've seen SVs, 
there was a blackbird there. I, uh, what's the lowest bike I think I've seen? I saw a 300, but I can't remember what the hell it was. We're going to take a long route on. My, um, the, well, one of the guys that I go with, he's got a Honda Bros. It's a 650 engine, but it's like 20 years old. It's slow as fuck down the streets. But the guy around the corners is absolutely phenomenal. And all you've got to do is ride within your own limits. Ride with what you feel comfortable with and you'll be fine. That, well, the reason why I had that R6 is so I could go on track and really push myself. And when I did, this happened. down the side, I needed a new crash button and a new front mudguard. It cost me £10 that crash from eBay. £10. And the bike was back up and running. And to be honest, coming off on a track like that doesn't hurt. The, the guy come along, picked my bike up, shoved it into the garage. I took the mudguard off, I took uh, all the gravel and things like that that was out in there. And literally 20 minutes, half an hour later, I was back out on track in my next session. But I purposely pushed it. It was very much a, I wonder how far I can lean this. And I should have a little clip as well of me grinding it out on Paddock Hill and having a bit of a wobble down there. That was a heart, uh, heart in mouth moment as well. Probably not helping with all of these, but trust me, this is because I was pushing the bike. I wanted to see what it could do, and I wasn't worried about crashing it. In terms of equipment that you need, you need a bike. You need a gold standard helmet. And you need bike boots and either a one-piece or two-piece with zipped leathers and obviously leather gloves. You've got to have the proper equipment and you have to own a full license as well. So sorry guys, if you're on CVT running 125s, you're out until you get your big bike license. But I would say that everyone you meet at track days as well, extremely friendly. I mean, if you need anything, go and ask somebody. I've asked people, you know, people have come up to my garage and went, oh, you know, can I borrow X, Y, and Z because they see that I've got all the tools. You know, I stick, um, I take some stuff with me purely because I want to change the bike and all the rest of it. But effectively, you can rack up with a track day with, uh, well, to be honest, with your bike and your leathers. Uh, that's it. That's all you need. Anything else is optional extras. I generally take my tools, I take tyre warmers with um, front and back paddock stands. So I've got some bits and pieces that I've collected over the years, but my first track day was actually a dry sunny day in February. And I've done it on that R6. Stay there you fucker. There you go. I've done it on that R6 and I've done it on Michelin Road Pilot 3s. Didn't even have sports tyres, there was the touring tyres. And it was phenomenal. I can't, you can't get over how enjoyable it is. And I honestly can't wait to take that track bag out. I think the first one, possibly at the end of the month, we're looking at doing Donington. And I haven't done Donington before, I've done crap loads at, uh, at Brent's Hatch. And it's a fantastic track, Brent's Hatch. 
the little indie circuit only has, you know, sort of, where is it? Uh, you've got Paddock Hill, Druids, Graham Hill, Surtees, Clearways, Clark Curve, the Straits, back on the Paddock Hill. There's, there's not many corners there for you to learn, but it's a tricky little circuit and enough for you to, to, to get around it and get into it. I mean, say so you end up doing 10, 15 laps per session, which is enough for you to get in, and believe me, by the time you get off the bike, you don't want any more. You are knackered. These guys that do nearly two hours racing around the TT, that's nuts. You must be super fit to do that. But anyway, I could wallow on about this for a, for a long time, quite frankly, but I'm probably already cutting stuff out just to make sure that I, I'm keeping this within a reasonable time frame for people to view. So uh, if you've got any questions, uh, let's get rid of this first. If you've got any questions for me, fire them away, more than happy to ask. I will be doing some track days and I'll be doing some vlogs on that. I might even add a lap to the end of this one of my old ones so uh, if you're interested hit the subscribe button and until next time folks this is hamster out i'm going to enjoy my ride back home